We need to talk about Crown Zenith. Now, this might be a controversial take, but it could be argued that Crown Zenith is the best set from Sword and Shield. And I'm going to tell you why that's a possibility, and we're going to take a deep dive into why Crown Zenith is at a very interesting point, and you guys should not be overlooking it. So we're just going to start off with the Elite Trainer Boxes, obviously, because this is a specialty set that uh, ETBs are kind of the go-to. And we're seeing a little bit of an uptick on ETBs. Um, we were up around, like, just over 50 bucks. It went down below 50 because there was, like, a big Prime Day sale. Best Buy had a sale on these. So a lot of these got dumped into the market. But we're seeing it recover, and we're back up into the $50 range. Um, what you're going to see that's interesting here is the listed median price. Okay? $60. So what that indicates to me is that this is going to slowly be on the uptick up to $60. And um, it's kind of one of those things that happens where uh, people forget about these because they're so readily available. This just happened with the 151 UPCs. You could have gotten for 80 bucks all day long, and now they're like 140. So um, we take for granted when they are wildly, widely available at an affordable price. So I'm just wanting to let you guys know about that. Now, if you look at the main set of Crown Zenith, there's not really a whole lot notable as you guys can see here that we're on tcg player if you guys aren't familiar pretty much there's only one card worth uh kind of grabbing in my opinion i mean if you want a master set that's cool but uh the pikachu secret rare um and it's the galarian gallery where things get real interesting but you're, what you're gonna see with a lot of these cards and why i'm bringing this up is that a lot of these cards not all of them that they kind of hit a bottom and it looks like they're rebounding a little bit so that's why i'm wanting to talk about this first off though this pikachu card is amazing just wanted to put that out there. Absolutely love this Pikachu card. Um, it's kind of crazy that it is eight bucks right now, but uh, I dipped down to 750 and it's kind of on its way up right now. So uh, with all these Pokemon in the background, absolutely stunning card. Cannot go wrong with Pikachu on this card. Um, so yeah, so what we saw is three month chart hitting a bottom, starting to rebound. Okay. Now that doesn't every time mean that oh it's just going to start another run. It could come up, it could stagnate, it could just kind of do this for a while. But usually what that indicates is that it might be a good time to pick it up. Um, if we pull up the uh, the one-year chart here, you can see that back here it was at 12 bucks, 12 bucks. So we're not at its one-year high, so there's plenty of room for it to move. So now this is where the set starts to look amazing. And like I said, this is where the argument could be made. Um, you start off with... The uh, legendary gold cards, we're going to take a deeper look at all, uh, not all of these cards, but we'll take a deep dive um, at a few of them, uh, like the better cards, right? But this set, so what you'll notice when you start to look at other sets, they all have, not all of them, but they usually have gold cards, and the gold cards are like kind of cool, but they're not that good. These cards are beautiful. These cards are stunning. If you have not seen them in person, these pictures do them no justice at all. So you have four legendaries of amazing, stunning gold cards. You have an absolute... Look at this Mewtwo. Mewtwo fighting Charizard. A V-Star, $55. Then, and it's like, just those cards alone are worth chasing, right? Then you add in, you got Evolutions, You got the Leafeon. You got the Glacier. Great artwork on both of them. Um, and, it's, and you're like, wow, right? What a, what a set this is. Then you throw in, oh, no, no, we're just getting started. Legendary Dogs. Um, I feel like the weakest one is the Entei, and that kind of is represented in the price, but the Suicune is stunning, the Raikou is awesome, right? Um, so, like, I think this could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Evolving Skies. Um, you know, that that's a tough, that's a very tough thing to say. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is better, per se, um, but I'm saying that there is an argument to be had, that's all I'm saying. What I want you guys to do is, in the comments, let me know, like, is this could this go toe to toe with evolving skies for sword and shield best set let me know then you got like another legendary deoxys super cool card awesome dark right card this artwork on this uh zorark is awesome another deoxys v star like um underrated pokemon but this luminion card is really great this zamazenta legendary right another legendary beautiful card you got a nice zorora zorora like popular pokemon like the the zation's cool too like a lot of these cards you have to... This kind of goes with any set, if I'm being completely honest. But a lot of times once you see these cards in person, they really pop a lot more. Um, but 
we even when you start to get over to page two here let's see if we can uh, move over here to page two real quick and um, okay so this is what I'm talking about uh, the Mew okay stunning stunning great looking card yellow border unfortunate kind of I uh, wish it didn't have the yellow border super affordable but like sleeping Mew with the other Pokemon like this Pikachu the Lapras this is other Deoxys is cool like it's just a deep set and you know these are the cheaper cards for a reason but i'm just saying strong cards worth getting like if you're pulling this pikachu it's a three dollar card but you're happy about it i think i am i'm happy if i pull this pikachu but let's take a deeper look at uh some of the bigger cards here uh, obviously the giratina is the big chase um i unfortunately don't have this card yet um i need to pick this up like now um and this is why because look this is bottoming out so it went up to 130 bottomed out around 100 the market was like this is not less than a hundred dollar card and it's starting to rebound off of that 102 and it's up to 107 uh most recent sales at 110 so uh giratina v star the gold is on the uptick if we pull this chart out to the one year sorry my computer's a little slow right now um you know we are obviously we just passed that one year high was 125 so um there's still room to there's still room to get back up to that. If I had to be, you know, if I had to guess, it's going to take a little bit before it gets back up to that one year, that one year high, you know, 138. But uh, once the ETBs start becoming more scarce in those prices, I think that's when the uh, singles are going to start to follow. So it might just be a little bit delayed, but, you know, if we have another little uptick, um, I wouldn't be surprised. So, yeah, it, we're, we're seeing a rebound there. You take a look at the Arceus. This chart looks very similar too. Not as valuable of a card, but um, I I did have this card uh, in a PSA 10, um, stunning card. I uh, actually ended up selling it on eBay. Um, I, I got a good price. I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. Um, so I'm going to be looking to pick this card back up again because it just bounced off its bottom, $64, and it's just up a little. So it's kind of leveling out at the bottom. It's not really fully rebounded yet, but it's kind of leveling out. So it's another good sign. Uh, when you're seeing these chase cards or these bigger cards, um, you know, start to show some stability. So uh, that's what you tr try and do with the market is you try and time the bottom. Nobody ever times the absolute bottom and then sells at the absolute peak. I mean, some people do if you get lucky, but it's just not very common. So you try and just take a look at the charts and see where the bottoms are at. So um, now I just wanted to remind you guys, if you are not familiar, we are doing a giveaway. It's this video right here posted six days ago. Uh, click on that video. I'll put a, I'll try and put a link uh, in the description or at the end of the video, um, but we are doing a giveaway. Today's the last day to enter. Um, we're doing three prizes. We're doing a Japanese 151 booster box, a PSA 10 of your choice. I'll give you like five options for that winner, uh, $50 minimum value there. And then we're going to do some sleeve boosters to a third winner. So uh, I'll be announcing that tomorrow. So today will be your last day to enter that. So, um, but let's just, let's jump back into Crown Zenith. Um, so we got the Mewtwo V-Star. Obviously you can see the artwork a little bit better here super stunning card um it's obviously that's why it's at 55 dollars but kind of the same thing on the three month chart we're seeing it, it bouncing off this bottom a little bit and it's it's getting a, a slow little rise up so um it's just kind of a common trend i'm seeing with these cards so that's why i wanted to make this video and show you and it's not every card per se because then you start to look at the palkia here um at 45 dollars it's kind of still ticking down a little technically but it looks like it's finding its bottom possibly so you know, not every card always follows exactly how the set's going. There's always, you know, um, going to be diversions. But, uh, like, here's another one. The uh, Dialga, Origin Form Dialga, um, still kind of on the down tick here at $44. Um, not sure how low this is going to go. If we pull up the uh, pull up the one-year chart here, obviously, this was a $30 card. I don't expect it to get down into the 30s, but... If it's going to continue to decline, maybe 40. Um, so I'm not too worried about it, but um, just wanted to show you that it's not every card that's like already rebounding, but you know, some are. Try and be, got to show it both ways, right? You can't just only show the charts that look good. Um, then we got the Leafeon, kind of the same thing going on here. Um, it technically is on a little bit of a downturn again, um, but it looks, I don't picture it dropping too much more maybe down to 25 and that's going to be the bottom for it so um similar thing there 
not every card has found its bottom, but a lot have, it looks like. Um, same thing with the Glaceon, which is kind of surprising. It's still technically on a little bit of a downturn. Um, I don't see it running down too much lower. Um, but So keep an eye on those. If you're looking at picking up those singles, try and time those bottoms a little bit better. Then we have the Suicune. Um, you'll see here, obviously, it, it is rebounding off of that 1835 mark, and it's back up creeping up to uh, 20 with the most recent sale on TCG player at 21. So I would expect this card to, to start a little bit of a rebound there. Um, just look at this card, guys. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, then we have the Raikou, which whew, I love. Um, same thing you're seeing the, the uptick here. Just a little bit from 1740 to 1790. So, um, and you see a lot more sales right here. You see these these sales, 59 cards sold right here. Um, so that means other people are seeing what I'm seeing when they're picking up the Raikou. It's too cheap. So there's no way this card should be this cheap, in my opinion. Then we'll take a look at the Entei, um, where the Entei is still on the downturn a little bit. But what you're going to see on the same thing, same thing as the Raikou, you see this big bar at the end? It means a lot of people are buying it, right? This is the most sales it's had in the last three months, 47. So that's another indicator that you guys can use. The other other people in the market are seeing uh, that other people in the market are seeing that these cards are valuable and that they are possibly bottoming out. So those are that is kind of just how I look at it when I look for when it's a good time to be picking up singles. So you use you use the price chart with a little bit of the sales data. Um, I mean, you got to use your best judgment too, and believe when you when you're looking at these cards, you got to believe in yourself that these are. Great cards, great artwork that are worth investing in long term. So, or um, even if you're not investing per se, if you're just collecting, that you're picking up these for your collection at the right price. Okay, so um, that is why I do these videos. I just wanted to share with you guys um, Crown Zenith a little bit, give it a little bit of love. Um, been talking a lot about Scarlet and Violet stuff lately, so it's nice to go back to Sword and Shield. Um, like I said, there is an argument to be made that this could be. Possibly the greatest set from Sword and Shield. Possible. I'm just saying. I didn't say it was. I'm saying it's an argument to be had. So um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Um, like I said, if you guys want to enter the giveaway, enter the giveaway. Um, let me know in the comments of this video what you think of Crown Zenith. It, could it be the best set? Let me know what you think. If you're this Also, if you're this far in the video, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button because you obviously enjoyed watching it, hit the thumbs up button and leave that comment. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't know what we'll be talking about next time. Um, it might just only be the giveaway announcement. And that might be the only thing. We might not touch on a topic or I might touch a topic and announce the, the winners. I don't know. But I will catch you in the next one. And remember, remember, it was never a phase.